and uh, well, we actually have some. Uh, we have somebody in the in the the chat here. I think Rob was bringing them in. Um, I'm gonna oh. pause right there because we have the champion <laughs> right here not, in the chat. Not the champion, the qualifier. <laughs> champion of today's qualifier. <laughs> yes. Congrats, Buckster. Congrats. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it was awesome to see. Um, yeah, I actually just want to jump in uh, into the, the the last map. Like uh, we saw Strong Sage, um, uh, yeah, holding the lead for like six minutes. Um, I think it was three or four frags in the lead, and his position out of the portal on the mega health um, gave him a big advantage. Um, how do you see it? How that turned around? Uh, basically, I don't remember the, the exact score, but I think I was like down six frags or something. And like one thought crossed my mind, like I just need to kill him once and I'll be able to come back. So, yeah, and I don't remember where I killed him. And then like the second frag, he just, I think, rushed me, rushed me and gave a free kill. And at that point, I understood like, yeah, the guy tilted. So he's going to rush me. He's not going to play a passive game. So, yeah. So, and as soon as I got the lead, it was like easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, it completely yeah, I, turned around. About to, yeah. One moment I want to point out, like mm -hmm. when the score was 10 to 8, mm -hmm. like in my favor, and he like was standing on Mega, and like I had a very, very huge desire to push this Mega. And then I looked at the score, I saw, okay, I have two frag lead, and then I realized, okay, he is on 130 ping. So even if I attack this mega, some crazy stuff might happen. So I'll just better run. Yeah. So yeah, I think it was the right decision. Yeah, indeed. Split yeah. decision. Yeah. Um, I, I've, yeah, I, I'm gonna ask one more, and then I'll I'll, I'll let the other two. Um, um, like, what do you think about the matchup actually? Like Ranger on on Somalia versus um, Stork and Peeker? Uh, because um, let's see, was this your first? choice no. no i'll explain uh my point with strog on this map was to counter his clutch i don't oh, know why yeah, he yeah. didn't pick clutch there mm. uh, i don't know yeah. he, he decided to go with ranger like on some maps yeah ranger is really good against strog because you can orb into the face and avoid picker mm -hmm. so yeah but i was like trying not to put myself in these situations where he can just orb me into the face he was getting away like early with a lot of stuff due to the ping, yeah. but yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that is, is that's actually interesting. Yeah, um, so uh, two there you go. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions. <laughs> that is so funny. So I'm gonna, uh, just gonna wrap back a little bit. We uh, saw Strong Sage pick Strog on Insomnia earlier, and I laughed so hard. I was like, "What the hell? Why are you picking Strog on Insomnia?" And then we see you doing it, Buckster, and I'm like, "Wait, wait he's probably he, waiting. He's wait, probably waiting for him." Wait, why he did picks? Yeah, I don't think like Strog is a good pick on Insomnia. That's but, like, exactly what personally, I said. Yeah, yeah I don't I see like, how he can be good there. It's like no advantages at all. I know. So, yeah. That's why I was like so confused when I saw that. And when I saw you pick it, I'm like, oh, he's just anticipating that. He's got to be anticipating for something. And then he busts out the Ranger. And I'm like, oh. No, no the, the only see. reason I picked him is because of the clutch. I was thinking a lot, exactly. like, what is the best pick against clutch? Like, I was thinking maybe Ranger in, or something like that. Yeah. And I just remembered that, I don't know, maybe I played Razi on a Vulcan and he was clutch and I was strong. <laughs> and I felt like I won the map and I, it felt like it's. A really good matchup against Clutch, yeah. so that's why I picked him. But even even against Ranger, you pulled it back. So I guess my first question for you. So nice to, to finally talk to you, Buckster. You yeah. shut up the last challengers. You did a fantastic fucking job. Kudos to you on that one. You shut up to this one and you dominated. You did some work. I bet you everybody's probably asking the same question, but I gotta ask it. How are you fucking feeling, man? <laughs> I'm actually fine, cause like last challengers with all the stress, you know, the pressure from friends in the community, they're like, Buckster, we are cheering for you. We are hoping you, you will win, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So like, it puts some pressure on you. And then I get to the finals, and I just got wrecked by Dunches on the last two maps. And like, I was tired, like I wasn't focused on that. So yeah, I was like pretty much upset. And going into these challengers, I was like, okay, whatever happens, happens. There's nothing I can do. If I'll have to play Strong Sage on, like, high ping, okay, whatever. So, yeah, I was, like, totally calm, whatever. 
So that I think that makes a huge difference, right? Having that mindset has definitely exactly like when you're putting a lot of like pressure on yourself, like I need to win, like people are cheering, like you have to find this balance that like okay, I understand, but I need to perform and just like no stress, don't get nervous during the games, just like focus. It's awesome. Well, that I think that's kind of what made the difference right here, and so I guess that goes into mm, the next maybe, question. Uh, yeah, and I, I think this is going to be a fun one, uh, Buckster. So I guess the question that I've got for you now is we've got a long way to go between now and I guess I think I've pointed out July is when the last regional qualifier is. And then QuakeCon happens at some point in the future. Um, between now and then, what kind of plans do you have other than just con continuously practicing? Wow, that's this? a good question. Today I'm going to be playing the, uh, the NA 2v2 tournament hosted by Jahar. And mm -hmm. tomorrow I'm going to play the EU tournament hosted by Jahar. After that, I have no idea. I'll try to stream and play, like, constantly, I think. But maybe I'll take a small break. I don't know. It's a long time going into QuakeCon, so yeah, I need to figure mm -hmm. this out. Awesome. Well, I, I, I definitely suggest hitting up some of those uh, pro players and give them, a, give them practice and ask them for some practice. I think that will go a very long Yeah, way. I'm so doing that, you. actually, from time to time, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. Keep it up, keep it up, and I'll throw this yeah, over thank to you. AK. Well, I, I got a, I got uh, two questions for you, Buckster. One is... Okay. Um... Well, okay. Let me interrupt you for one second. Let me rejoin the Discord lobby because I'm getting a robo voice. So let me just reconnect really quickly. Okay. You guys hear a robo voice That's or good. is it normal? Yeah, now it's better. Now we're good. Nice. Okay. Uh, what, one thing, I do watch your streams and I've seen you play Strong Sage before. I know that you're EU, he's NA. Um, are you guys practice partners at all? No, I'm playing mostly ranked. So when I'm playing some practice matches, it's usually off stream. So yeah, on stream, okay. I'm just like trying to get like a feel of the ping or like how other players are playing. That's basically mm -hmm. it. Okay, okay. Uh, second question is, um, a lot of people were saying that that uh, you're more of a defensive player, especially after you get the first couple of frags, it'll slow down and you'll lock a map down. But what I noticed about you, especially when you were down by six and you made the comeback, was your best playing and you were hitting the craziest shots. Was when really? You I, to be impressive. honest, like sorry for interrupting you, I don't remember a thing about the finals. So I was just like so focused into the game. So basically, I was playing on autopilot. I don't remember the craziest shots, so it was just like you know. Well, yeah. my my question was my question was when you were being aggressive, you were just completely blowing my mind with how well you were playing. And is it um, are you forcing yourself to slow it down and just not go with the flow? Like, are you forcing yourself to not go ultra aggressive? And is that your natural? wanting to be more aggressive and you're actually scaling it back on purpose. Yeah, there's a good saying. You have to choose situations <laughs> where to be aggressive and when to not to be aggressive, guys. <laughs> so yeah, with yeah. experience, you know, when to push, like at what time based on your stack, etc, etc. So yeah. So it yeah. depends. It depends on the score or like on the items, what item is spawning next, like a lot of things is going into this. It's not that simple that like I'm stacked, I'm just gonna push no matter what. You have to always like consider what is the next item, where is your enemy. Like sometimes it's even better just to let him live, like with like whatever, 100 HP. But you know mm -hmm. that he won't be able to restack himself for the second rotation of the items. So it's just a matter of time when you're gonna find him and kill him. So depends. So what do you so, what do you consider yourself as then? Just a balanced player, aggressive, defensive? Oh, it, like, I don't know. It's, I honestly <laughs> don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it, dep it, it, dep yeah. it also depends who you play against, because, like, yeah. the matchups are, cool. like, like so important. Because against some players, you can be aggressive. Against some, you just know that if you're going to push them, they're going to just hit 70% LG from crazy angles, and you know you're going to die. So you just have to be, like, more careful. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Last question. Let, okay. Last question for you is um, <laughs> out of all the people you played now in challengers, and there's a there's a good chance you're gonna see some of these top guys once we we do finals. 
is there anybody in here that you really don't like going against or are you pretty much comfortable against you mean everybody? from challengers or from kpl guys challengers i'm talking about just the semi pros right now mm. is there someone who has your number well, not really but like always garpy is like number one contender i don't know hell also really good like a lot of russian guys who unfortunately can't play right now so a lot of them are a very tough challenge so yeah it's not an easy ride everyone is strong everyone is playing a lot everyone is grinding so i cannot pinpoint one like like i don't know hardest player to play against but all of them are really tough Right on. Yes. Well, congratulations, man. You played awesome, and we are looking forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot. Yeah, congrats, and thanks for doing this. And uh, have, yeah, have fun are, this evening. Uh, I'm going to be certainly watching uh, Tasty Spin TV. If it is. Okay, thanks a lot. Go have Cheers, another guys. coffee, Buckster. Thanks again, man. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> Take care.